Hey there, Jacob here from the San Diego Children's Discovery Museum up in Escondido, California. Welcome to the first edition of our Inside Out series. In this new museum series, we're gonna be showcasing for you some of our exhibits that we have inside of our museum and how you can see those principles out in the real world. We will also be showing you some fun ways to do your own experiments and crafts using what you learn from our exhibits. Today, we're gonna to look at our Bernoulli table where objects and balls appear to be floating. A common response we hear when kids see this is, oh my goodness, it's magic. Sometimes science can feel pretty magical. The Bernoulli table is actually named after a man named Daniel Bernoulli, who was a Swiss mathematician and scientist that focused a lot of his attention on fluid dynamics or how fluids move. Side note, all of the air around you is a fluid. And today, the air around us is gonna be what we're gonna be exclusively talking about in this video. For understanding this exhibit, the biggest concept to keep in mind is the cause and effect relationship, specifically in this form. Fast moving air creates low air pressure. And typically things always move from areas of high pressure towards low air pressure. Now with that knowledge, let's make some predictions about what is going to happen. As you can see from this scarf that I'm holding over the top of the tube, there is a strong steady stream of air coming from here. So if this tube is making an area of low air pressure, what is going to happen when I put this ball in the fast moving air right over top of the tube. Remember, fast moving air creates low air pressure. Wow, if you guessed the ball would hover in place like it's floating, then you were right. But let's break down what is happening here. The ball is being acted on by forces from all direction and has found the place where all the forces are about equal. Gravity is pushing the ball down. Gravity is also what gives all things their weight. The air coming out of this tube is the force acting in the opposite direction and is providing the force of thrust. When the ball finds a balance and equilibrium to these two forces, it will hold its position, mostly. This balance, however, is not specifically the Bernoulli effect. This fast moving tube of air creates an invisible space of low air pressure right next to an invisible space of high air pressure where the air is static and not moving much. So the Bernoulli effect is what is actually pulling the ball back into the flow of air. You can see the list of forces on this board. Gravity is pushing the ball down and the air current is pushing the ball up and creating low air pressure. And we have the high air pressure on the outside. That's the static air. Obviously there aren't these H's just floating around, but the ball wants to be in the low pressure position and to avoid the high pressure areas and then it's finding the balance between gravity and thrust. Now that we know how this ball is being held in the air by a balance of forces, including gravity and thrust and the Bernoulli effect, soon we're gonna learn how we can use this principle out in the real world. On our next video, you'll be coming with me outside the museum and we'll be diving into just how cool the Bernoulli effect really is. Thanks everyone and keep it locked in here to all the museum channels for our next edition of the Inside Out series.